great ovation for Fury. As there is, it seems, wherever he goes. And the question now is whether he can take care of Nevin Pikic. Gentlemen, you've had and your instructions in the forwards. dressing room. You know what I expect of you both. When I tell you to break, break cleanly and take a step back, watch your heads in close, touch gloves, good luck. Touch gloves. Needed a second instruction there to touch gloves. There is bad blood between the two. No question about that. But Dave McCauley, Tyson Fury can't allow that to get in his way. No, because the worst mistake you can make in a ring is get mad. Because see, when you get mad, you make too many mistakes. You, you waste too much energy. So you have to be cool, calm, and collective the way he normally is. He was rocked briefly against Nikolai Fierther. In trouble early against Derek Chisora. Can he negotiate this calmly, Tyson Fury? He always seems to make the heart flutter. Huge height and weight and reach advantage against the man born in Sarajevo, but now based in Canada, Nevin Pajic. But can Fury make them all count? Likes to... Get behind that jab, but Pajic likes to come out and swing. It's all very ragged. Fury suggested before, and he put his head down and just came out swinging. And that's what he's done so far, Pajic. Yep, he, he's a brawler, this guy, so what Tyson Fury has to do, uh, this is simple. Keep it at long range, he's six foot nine, with great big long arms. Pajic, six foot three, shortish arms, so a fireless Tyson Fury. This man wouldn't get near me, so keep him away, keep turning that big left jab out and then bang that right hand, left hook across, because in theory, Paycheck shouldn't really get near uh, Tyson Fury, because Fury can box, he can punch, he has it all, so therefore, I know this is, this is only the first round, but he wants to stop his authority right away, let this guy know who the boss is. Yeah, he could box effectively, very effectively behind that left jab, and that's what he's trying to do. But again, Pajic comes moving forward, ungainly, untidy, but just flustering Tyson Fury at the moment. Not the most attractive start to the big fight of the night, but that's better for Fury. Good footwork there to move himself to the centre of the ring. See, I'm only just guessing here, but I would say that the uh, pie checks, uh, what, they, what they want to do is they want to get in, inside, they want to try to make sure that Tyson Fury can't get off, you know, with the big arm, the big right, the big left, so they just maul him and brawl him over, over the top of him and stay in close and try and spoil the things for Tyson Fury, which he is doing right now, because Fury's letting him get too close. Yeah, flurry of punches there. None of them accurate from Nevin Pajic, but you see the look on Tyson Fury's face, a mixture of anger and bemusement. Having said he was expecting this, he doesn't look like he was expecting this. That's better. In behind the jab, encouragement at the end of a very, very scrappy opening round here. Trainer Chris Johnson passing on some instructions there. Just wanted me to work from the big man. Scrappy opening round, but Fury will hope for more order to his work in this second. This guy will not be easy to get out of there, Nevin Pajic. It's a different challenge for Tyson Fury. Barely been able to land a clean shot so far, Fury. But we know all about the power he has in those hands. Pajic with a right hand in response to that left jab from Tyson Fury again. Pajic looking for the big shot, but Fury catching him as he came in, and the crowd here in Manchester rises. Now they're starting to exchange now. Swinging right hand there. Wasn't far away that shot. 
might be head down and a little blind, but Fury had better be careful here. Yep, when Fury lets him go, they land on targets, and he has to throw his punches in twos and threes. The big, the big left jab, works, shoot, works his way in, and then bang, let the big right go, and the big left go, but let him go in twos and threes. That was a dangerous right hand from Tychek, but Fury took it well. A couple of good left hands there from Fury as well. A little warning from the referee about punching around the back of the head. Mikic has only knocked out five of his opponents. Fury, by contrast, 11. Fury, the man, certainly with more power. Now that jab. Jab was so sharp against Nikolai Fiesta. Looked a real weapon, but it hasn't done so so far tonight. why he was caught he's getting a bit curtis it was a cracking punch bang there it goes oh look 16 stone bang hit him fair on the chin any wonder he went down it's a cracking punch and he was caught again by that that overhand right so he's going to have to be very 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 careful because Pajic is pretty powerful and Pajic getting a, a warning for use of the head as well that was something approaching a butt there from Pajic who is a brawler Certainly ahead in the fight, of course he is. Fury down in the second, and Fury seemingly in trouble. Can he find an answer, as he has done before? Here comes Pajic again, catching Fury. The big man backed up. The local favourite in trouble. Pajic for the... Shot to the body and then a right hook to the head. Has Fury weathered this storm yet? You see, nearly every time Pike throws that overhand right, he catches Fury because he's dropping his left hand too low. And he's moving into to, to, to Pajic's uh, right, right, right hand. So what Fury had to do is move to his own right to try and avoid Pajic's overhand right. But he's doing everything right now to sit Pajic or Pajic. Better right hand that time from Fury. The first time he appears to have hurt Pajic. It might not be pretty. But it is on a knife edge, this. Both men are throwing. Brilliant for time. 
He's going to have to be careful here with his tight chair. Right up, right up, right up. He stopped it in round three. And Fury wants to carry on. He doesn't want the stoppage. He was furious with the referee. But he stopped in the third. High, high drama. Dave McCauley. Great stop from Tyson Fury after being knocked down in the previous round. The comeback and put Pike H down himself was fantastic, it shows he has great heart, and he's got great strength, but Pike H, his right hand, even though he was hurt in that round, he went down, he was still dangerous, because that overhand right that he has is a good solid punch, and it's one that Tyson Fury's going to have to watch out from all his opponents in the future. Was it stopped too early from your point of view? Well, listen, the, the, I think you're better being a wee bit... Uh, a wee bit more cautious because if you wait too long then a lot of damage can be done these are great big men in here and they're very powerful look at that you can see the Pajic like he doesn't want to know he's not responding that was the first knockdown look, he was badly hurt there and, and, and I think that the referee made the right choice if we could just see it again I think the referee made the right choice well, it may not have lasted long, but it was brutal, it was entertaining, and it was ultimately successful for Tyson Fury. The whole world seemed to be crammed into those three rounds, but he delivers every time, doesn't he, because of the vulnerability, Dave? Yeah, listen, uh, he was caught with a good solid right hand. He knows uh, he made a few mistakes, and he dropped the left hand too low, and that's what happens. You know, you get crucified with big overhand rights, and uh, Pike H, his corner, they seen uh, the mistake that uh, Tyson Fury was making, and they had said, look, bang those overhand rights in, throw enough, like some will land, and when they do land, they'll do a bit of damage, as we had seen that they did do, they put Tyson Fury down. But fair juice to big Tyson Fury, he came back, and he came back, and he finished off uh, Pycheck, you know, in style. Well, he always says he comes from a fighting family, that he's a fighting man, and you can see that in the way that he approaches things. I get knocked down, but I get up again. That has to be the motto. And he's got so many fans here who were rocked and shocked when he fell to the canvas in the second. Comes round in front of us and salutes the crowd here in Manchester. And he keeps finding a way to put our hearts in our mouths and then to win. An awful lot still to be ironed out about Tyson Fury. He's still improving, there's no question about that. And there is a grudging moment of respect between him and uh, Nevin Pikic there. I think Tyson was keener on the hug than Pikic was. He's still unhappy about the uh, stoppage and unhappy maybe about what went on before the fight. But we can get the official result now from our MC. Ladies and gentlemen, judging Nevin Pikic unable to continue this heavyweight championship bout, referee Phil Edwards stops this contest. Able to continue. Referee Phil Edwards stops this contest at two minutes and 44 seconds of round three. The winner and still Commonwealth Heavyweight.